Alright YouTube, so I'll make it real simple. Um I'm gonna start with putting the coil packs right here on this rail right for now. Just lining them all up on there. Let me start with taking the intake. Yeah. I'm gonna start with taking this eight off real quick. I might sip out this bottle until it get hot. I might sip out this bottle, just drown my sorrow. Start with taking this off. Lay this to the side. So it does go like this. Like just right here. This this one right here and this one right here go right there was was keeping the fuel rail on so what you gotta do is um just take that off take that bolt off uh put the fuel rail put this there and then uh just screw it back on and keep this clamped on there like that so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna put this on first actually because it should be easy to just screw on all the coil packs and i'm gonna just do that real quick all right so i took all so i took all four bolts on for the fuel rail off now i'm about to put this on and put those bolts back on so it should go in just like that line up just like that right here also it should line up right there too so just make sure you line all of it up i'm gonna take this off real quick because this is kind of in the way take that off and just make sure you line it all across so now that rail is now installed in nice and tight got those four bolts in now it's all nice and tight so now I'm gonna see how this will go around everything in this because you see how it's like right here I think I can go in between it right here just like that I think that's how it's made actually it doesn't reach so I'll figure that out right now now that, now that the rail is on this just goes like this it's really simple this goes right here next one right here next one right there and you guys know the rest so we'll start with putting this first one on I think this can stay right there like that and everything will be fine and then um this wine harness i think keep that wine harness behind like that keep it tight and see what happens okay so now that i got all of them installed now it's time to take these coil packs out take the spark plugs out then after i take the coil packs and spark plugs out then i go upstairs and gap all my spark plugs have them all ready then put them back in, put everything back together, and start this damn car, man. I actually changed the thought. I'm gonna actually go upstairs right now inside my room where I have the gapper and the spark plugs. I'm gonna gap the spark plugs right now. I'm gonna turn my car off, go upstairs, back, gap the spark plugs right now. When I come back, I'm gonna take one coil pack off and one spark plug off, put it together, connect it, put it in. Next one, do the same thing. Next one, do the same thing. Next one, do the same thing. So I can just go all in line. It kind of just probably, it will probably just feel better and feel more organized if I did like that. So I'll see you guys upstairs. All right, now that I'm inside, um, I've gotten these two gapped already, I'm pretty sure. Let me just double check. Pretty sure I've gotten these two gapped so far. Because I did do two last night. I was kind of happy to do it. Just so I can be prepared for the day so i'll screw it in here hold on i'm gonna loosen this Let's just screw it in here real quick screw it in here i've already gapped this one so i'm gonna put it in here check if i did 0 0.18 and yes i have i have gapped this one take this one out secure it over here put this one in now let's check this one pretty sure I've got this one yep see and this is 0 0.18 by the way don't know if y'all can see that but 0 0.18 I've got this one 0 0.18 you just put it in here you check, you move it around, see it's moving nice. Zero point eighteen. Got that one. I'm gonna do the rest. Now that I've uh, gapped all of the gapped all of these to zero point eighteen, zero point zero eighteen or whatever, I am about to take, like I said, one by one out. Take the coil pack out, take the spark plug out, put the spark plug in, put the coil pack in, and do the connecting to the new precision race with coils. And I'm gonna do that one by one. I'm gonna just record the first two. Or just the, I'm gonna just record the first one, and I'll do the rest. Then I'll show you guys the last. Then I'll show you guys when it's done. So now I just took this first coil pack out. 
Now it's time to take the spark plug, which is in there. Now it's time to take that spark plug out, uh, put the new one in, torque it, and then connect. Uh, then I'll just connect it, do all the stuff I gotta do for this first coil back. So let me get to it. All right, taking this spark plug out. And now the spark plug is out. Let's see how bad it is. Actually, the spark plug is actually pretty bad. I did not know or think it was like this. Okay, now, now it's time for the gap spark plug to go in. So now, um, I'm about to torque it right now. I haven't torqued it just yet. Just got it in there. Um, about to torque it. 17 foot pounds of torque. Uh, so yeah, just about to torque it. Then I'll put the new coil pad. I mean, coil harness in there. Then I'll connect it to the coil pad. Now that I've torqued it, it's all in there. Now it's time to put this coil pack in there. I'm gonna shove it in there now. Push it in. And then now, connect it to this um, actual coil pack. Now that the, now I'll connect, so, so now I've connected the, the, the harness, whatever you, cause it, this is the coil pack right here. So this is just like the, I guess the harness, whatever just goes into this. So. Like that. Okay, now the car is all set. Uh, I put everything together. I put the intake on, plugged everything back in, just put everything together. Now I'm about to start the car. Let's see how it goes. I'm gonna start the damn car and see how everything is. Every day is just like I earn while I earn. Ain't shit cause bridges to burn. Just wait your time.